Quarterbacks off the board going to the Kansas City Chiefs. It's Aaron Murray. It is the Bengals next up on the clock. Let's go to Cincinnati, Cincinnati Stadium and hear what make they your do. Selection. With the 24th pick of the fifth round, number 164 overall, the Cincinnati Bengals select A.J. McCarron, quarterback, Alabama. Of course. Of course, we wait all day to find out where these SEC quarterbacks are going. Back to back, it goes Aaron Murray, and now it's A.J. McCarron, Todd. McCarron has the prototypical measurables you look for. 6'3", 220 pounds. He's a winner. You have to start there. You really do. 36 and 4 as a starter. Two times he won the national championship as the starting quarterback. And while he was at Alabama, the Crimson Tide won three national championships. When I watched him on tape, I was disappointed with the mechanics. I thought he got into some bad habits, not transferring his weight from back to front. It's coachable, it's correctable, but he's got to improve it. I thought some of his best tape was when it was off script. When things went poorly and he was outside the pocket making things happen and finding receivers. But when pressure flashed late and he was not expecting it, then he would get into trouble. I don't think he reacts very well initially to inside pressure. So there are strengths to his game, there are weaknesses. He has average arm strength, but in this system with Cincinnati, he come in and has a little bit of time to work on the mechanical issues and try to improve. Well, well there's going to be pressure on Andy Dalton if he doesn't win in the playoffs this year, and I'm not going to take anything away from Andy Dalton. He's done a great job. He's led him to the playoffs three straight years, but he's got only one touchdown pass and seven turnovers in those three playoff games. Everybody knows that there's somebody to come along and challenge Dalton. There's going to be that opportunity. Can McCarron do it quickly? Transitioning from Alabama to the NFL remains to be seen. Bill, I want to get your take on this kid. Everybody said West Coast offense. Will his arm get stronger once he's in the league? I like his feet in the pocket. I think he's an underrated athlete. What do you think of A.J. McCarron? He was hard for me to evaluate, and here's why. Because Alabama is so good, I jokingly call it the 33rd franchise, he virtually always has a clean pocket and a clean secondary. You've got to commit a, an eighth defender to the box against Alabama. So you don't really know what he's going to be like when he faces these kinds of difficult situations. Will he develop? The chances are he's pretty darn tough if he played for Nick Saban. That you know. So he's got a chance to develop. Andy Dalton is uh, maybe not exactly what the Bengals want. This is an interesting battle to watch in camp. Well, yeah, Andy Dalton's also in the last year of his contract, right. his rookie contract as a second round pick. But your point, A.J. McCarron has addressed that in the past. He's like, well, at the next level, I'm going to be playing with NFL players, so I don't see why that's a negative. We'll see how it translates for A.J. McCarron in Cincinnati. For more on the quarterback situation, which is now really interesting for the Bengals, let's go up top to Adam Schefter and Chris Mortensen. Guys? Well, listen, you know, you guys just talked about Aaron Murray and Andy Reid's affinity for quarterbacks. Don't forget their general manager, John Dorsey, was in Green Bay for such a long time where they always drafted quarterbacks, especially in this range, who eventually either became their starter or a tradable co commodity. Aaron Murray, recovering from an ACL injury, had a very good pro day. He's mature, set a lot of records at Georgia, and Kansas City was one of those clubs that was enamored even with Derek Carr, if they had traded back out of the first round. So quarterback was always going to be something that the Chiefs acquired, and they get one in there in Murray, a guy certainly that Andy Reid likes. And with the 164th overall pick in the fifth round, the Bengals took former Alabama quarterback A.J. McCarron, which means there are now two rookie quarterbacks in the state of Ohio, McCarron in Cincinnati and former Texas A&M quarterback Johnny Manziel in Cleveland. Now, McCarron steps into an interesting situation, Trey, as you alluded to, Andy Dalton in the final year of his contract. They have not gone very far on talks for a new deal, and so maybe McCarron will get a shot. The Bengals wanted their shot at Teddy Bridgewater, didn't get it, but they did get A.J. McCarron. Don't go anymore. We're 20 more back at Radio City Music Hall.